Now we both went through, uh, and also another friend of ours, we went through a distributor. Yeah, it was an aggregator. Um, and you so can. We'll, we'll, we'll stop a second, say hi to Nick and Jason Rubaker and Mike and uh, good old Neil. We uh, years later, we still didn't forget about you. <laughs> we tag into Todd Jenkins and uh, Alex Ferrari and Joe Dane on that one too. <laughs> yeah, somebody did. Did you get after they went belly up and all that? Did you get the email or? There's some one of those guys are starting a new company. Said, I know y'all got the shaft last time, but come to this one, we'll do it the right way. Yeah, it was it was Neil who basically Alex Ferrari got him to go on his show. And basically to sum it up, it was an hour of I didn't I wasn't a part of the problem. I don't know what happened. I'm over here now. Come with me. Yeah, I could, yeah. I could sum up the whole thing in 12 seconds with that sentence. So you know, I don't recall. I don't remember. I don't recall the old Reagan years. You know, you're just well, it's, like, it's like, it's like, um, it's like a, a dirty whore as you go. Really, I know I had chlamydia last time and that wasn't that good, but I swear it's all cleared up this time. So we can go ahead and fuck if you want. That's what it felt like. So. Yeah. So, but for anyone who's new, the distributor was the, the aggregator that cut out these people that we're talking about where we give, put our, uh, could host their film basically in a library. Mm -hmm. the outlet, you do the marketing, and if your film gets hot, the outlet come and scoop up whatever film that they desire, horror, comedy, or whatever. But it's 100% on you to do the marketing. So now you're paying more out of pocket, mm -hmm. but they pay you quarterly. I think they took 20% and you were supposed to get 80. And these mm -hmm. guys were all screwed over, I believe, by other distribution companies. So they created this, uh, you know, independent platform to free us from all that and they went about 10 years and that billy i don't know when you joined i joined within a year before they did exactly what happened to them and screwed over a it thousand might have been a year we got a decent paycheck from them the first quarter and then all of a sudden there was absolutely nothing mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like we got a decent paycheck um i dare say that first paycheck might have been around ten thousand or something um, and I think, dang, this is going to be pretty cool. And then they just dropped off the face of the earth. And without, without, you know what? It, it sucks that that whatever they did, it, it was. It sounds like Nick Swartz, Swartz, I think is how he says last name. I think he he was the one that had his hand in the cookie jar the most. He's the main guy, according to Joe Dane. When I had him on the show, to, uh, said anyway. But um, I believe it because Nick Nick hasn't said a word. But I can't. It, it would be a little bit different if they just sent an email out and said, yeah. like, sorry, we let you all down. We're taking our films down so you so you could go elsewhere. You know, sorry, we suck, whatever. We would hate that. But the fact that they left them up and for anybody who doesn't understand, like our my film, particularly probably Billy's, too. We were on Amazon and for order for the film to come down. To basically to go back in our hands to try to get it put put back up so the money actually comes to us, they st it's still in their system, so it, it, they left us high and dry. It was basically like when you left the doors open to your house and you can and, and people are going in and stealing everything from your house. It's basically what was happening, and everyone was like, "Oh, I saw your movie last night." And you're like, "Thank you, but you don't under you don't freaking understand." Like, really. yeah, it's yeah, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> so it took me. 40 times easy with emails to finally get that taken down. And and it wasn't the same person I was talking to. So I'd explain, they'd be like, oh, yeah, we got word of this. We're working on it, you know, asking for info. And then someone else would be like, hi, I'm taking this over this email for Kevin, at the courtesy of Amazon. Can I help you? And I have to go back over all of it again. And you're, you got to stay patient. But it took a long time. But uh, what, what burnt me up about those four guys is they got jobs, like, so fast, like yeah, yeah. We're, we're swimming in shit, and and, and you know, and I got my cast members asking me what's going on. Like, oh, it went down here, it went down there, and it's like I don't want to like announce at that time. Like, hey guys, I, I kind of let you down, even though I didn't do it, but like, you know, I gotta fix this. You know, it was it was very embarrassing. Mm -hmm.